This is it. Championship will be determined tonight. This ain't the amateurs no more. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. This is the first step up, kid. Use your feet. Keep your hands up. It's all about heart. This guy's a friggin' animal! You gotta put this guy on the camera. You understand? The only way to the type is through me. That's what champions do. They get back up. Everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed New Yorker. We're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Bernard Hopkins has knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he going to act then? Good work with the combinations there. Bernard Hopkins is now really on target. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Bernard Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Teddy, I'm going to be kind in simply describing one of our fighters tonight as just having low stamina. He's going up against a guy who's a high motor guy. Yeah, what I think he has to do, and I'll be kind too, is he just has to go for broke, go for the Hail Mary. Jump right on the faster guy. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And now another left. 
A headshot blocked. Piercing jab. Mason's almost out of it there. Oh! Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. Gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Hopkins is doing well here with that two punch combination. And banging away he goes. This is gonna take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Take long. First round knockout. He's unable to beat the count. I saw at the beginning, Joe, came out a little cold, not much of a sweat, and that's what can happen when a guy comes out cold. scheduled for tonight's bout. Hopkins is feeling pressure, and he has to be feeling the pressure because all the talk all week has been about the knockout streak. He won every fight by knockout. Well, there's been a little other talk, too. They've been talking about how the national anthem is usually longer than his fight. <laughs> That's good work by Bernard Hopkins. The combination punching is something that he stressed to us in the pre-fight buildup. Teddy, can a shorter fighter in a matchup like this be effective with a power punch, or does he have to reach up too much? Joe, not only can a shorter fighter in this kind of situation be effective, he will be effective. If he comes out of a weave, 
with a punch because now, usually the taller guy, he's punching down. And when you punch down... Oh, oh that's gotta hurt. Kenny, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. is back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Bernard Hopkins. Collins is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Big shot. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Kenny. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Collins showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Doubles up the jab. Punching, working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Collins is damaged right now, Teddy. That last round was really costly to him. He can't go on fighting like that. No, not unless he goes back to one of those Star Trek episodes where you had Scotty. You remember Scotty used to beam you up? Well, right about now he's saying, Scotty, beam me the heck out of here. Otherwise, he better get his hands up and start fighting. Really on the mark with that over the top. That's a huge left he just scored with. Oh, a big shot coming home for him. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's where you run. There it is. He never saw that coming. Collins is knocked down by a punch that came from out of left field. That was like Haley's Comet. You will be seeing that again for about 10 years. And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. We saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. The capital, we send it up to the ring. Bernard Hopkins has done it.
us alongside Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the end. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Hopkins is a real treat for these fans. A pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. So every one of his fights is like a fire drill. I mean, the belt goes off and bang, he's rushing to that fire. Once he starts the fire. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Mitchell. Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, what a left hand. Mitchell's big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Hopkins' combination punching is just... And yet another big shot comes in. Picture perfect combination, and he is floored. Well, the old timers would say you can hit a guy with two. Why hit him with one? And just like that, it's over. Knockout in the first round. Well, we said that he starts with a lazy jab. The problem is the other guy...
I wonder if the knockout streak will continue here. Hopkins has been able to do it throughout his whole career. Knockout man after man, they line up in front of him. He wastes no time. He goes right out of that corner with one thing in mind. Get rid of that guy. See, Bernard Hopkins has been having those Philly gym wars for so many years now that it's just second nature to throw your punches. In. Wow. That is it. Gone. See ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over. Hopkins is fine work in the ring tonight. Keeps that title belt secure around his waist. For my...